I always hear how people complain about bad artifact luck and chances are you felt the same before as well. And while it might or might not be the case, have you ever wondered what actually is the average luck? Today I'm gonna show you what you can expect from your artifact farm. This video will be mostly about math behind everything, so if you want to see guide, check the video right here. So, let's start with basics. What is a good artifact? People on different stages in game consider different artifacts good. Early game any 5 star artifact is a blessing, but playing more and more people become more demanding. I'm gonna pick those that I and most late game players consider good, the artifact that needed main stat and at least 2 good sub stats, preferably high value. We'll talk about upgrades later, for now let's focus on initial stats. There is only one possible main stat for flower and feather, HP flat and attack flat. Sands have 5, HP percent, attack percent, defense percent, elemental mastery and energy recharge. Circles have 6, everything from sense besides energy recharge and additionally crit rate and crit damage. Goblets have 10, again, the same ones from sense besides energy recharge and all elemental damage except for Dendro which is supposed to be added with Sumeru release. Now we need to determine which stats are good for us. While farming you are usually looking for pieces for one specific character. So in sense you usually want one of two possible substats, attack percent, defense percent or HP percent depending on the character and elemental mastery or energy recharge depending on character's role. On circlet you're almost always looking for crit stats and with goblets any elemental damage since it's usually offset piece. I assume that you have equal chances to get every piece and every main stat since there is no official data. That brings us to 100% chance to get needed main stat on flower and feather, 40% chance on sands, 33% chance on circlet and 50 on goblet. Looking not that bad for now, right? But wait, the real problem is substats. In substats you are usually looking for the same, but keep in mind that substats can be the same as main stat. Here's a list of all possible substats, so let's see. You want one of attack percent, HP percent and defense percent, then elemental master if it's on field DPS or energy recharge if off field, crit rate and crit damage. Of course, there are exceptions like shielders, on field DPSs that need their ultimate or who doesn't need elemental mastery, but let's stick to general idea to not get it too complicated. That means you only want 4 out of 9 possible substats, and as I already mentioned before, you want there to be at least 2 of them. There might be 3 or 4 substats a 5 star artifact drops with, but we can treat them the same since 4th substat will appear at plus 4 anyway. Probability theory is strongly evolved here, but I'll try to keep it simple and won't go too deep in calculations. So imagine that we are picking every substat at random without repetition and each time there are 2 possible outcomes. We got the one we like or the opposite. And there are only two outcomes that we don't like. We end up with only one good substat or none at all. So let's count probability of that. Getting no good substats is easy. It's 4%. So no worries, getting absolutely no good substats is unlikely. What about only one then? It's a bit more complicated since good substat can appear in either first, second, third or fourth pick. That's one way of counting that. If you don't understand what these numbers mean, don't worry, look on at percentages. To get the first calculation we end up with 42% chance to get less than 2 good substats, or 58 to get the opposite. But that's only for flower and feather since they have bad stat as main stat. For sands and circlet it's 52 and for goblet it's 55, so let's take 55 as average. Great, chances are still pretty high so let's start leveling up. We can get either 4 or 5 upgrades depending on number of initial substats. Each time upgrade can go in one of 4 substats. And since we already have two good ones, we have 50% chance of it going in a good substat. Nowadays people mostly care about artifacts with 40 plus stat value, but let's lower it a bit and say 30 is good for us. You can see all possible values here, so let's say our stat value is 6, bringing us to at least 3 good upgrades since we already have two substats. There is no reason to show all calculations because they kinda look like this. So the chance of hitting that in 4 upgrades is 31% and 50 in 5. Let's take the average 40. It's a lot higher if you have 3 good substats, but chances of getting 3 needed substats are very slim, so I won't count that. And that's all the random artifacts we have, so let's multiply all that. Again, I'm assuming that you have equal chances to get any piece. You have 4.4% chance to get good feather and the same for flower, 1.7 for sands, 1.4 for circlet and 2 for goblet bring your total chance to 13.9 chance to get a good artifact. And since you on average get only one piece from the set you want per domain clear, you need about 4.5 runs or a little bit more than day worth of farming to get at least one decent artifact. 
One piece per day does us out too, but since you only need 5, right? Wrong. Most likely you'll have the same pieces in those 5 and you need 5 different ones. So, judging by the piece with least chances to appear circlet, we can assume that we'll need approximately 50 clears or 13 days and 2000 worth of resin to get a whole set of 30 plus stat value on each piece. Knowing that, do you really think it's worth to raise the standards even higher? Fun fact, you only have 0.000001% chance to get perfect artifact with highest value possible, and that if and only if your artifact is flower or feather. Thank you for watching.